This is NDTV and you are watching NDTV Prime. So my name is Puneet guys and a uh, little bit about myself when I was in college, I started doing poetry you know, to deal with my depression. But then I had to start doing comedy to deal with the poetry. <laughs> Sometimes I get so depressed that I try to retrieve my Orkut password. You guys remember Orkut, right? Yeah? It was the world's first dating website. <laughs> Are there any struggling actors in the audience? No? No, you have to ask. Do you know that struggling actors are the third largest minority in the country? What? Yeah. <laughs> After Muslims and MTV Rodi's contestants. <laughs> but if you're out there somewhere in hiding in denial, struggling actors, yeah, do not lose heart. No. Anyone can become a star in this country. Look at Tiger Shroff, man. The first actor to make it to stardom via sports quota. <laughs> Alright guys, so while I do this technical snag, uh, I'm gonna call upon the first act of the evening, yes. Are you guys ready for the first act of Undateable? Guys, please welcome with a round of applause, Mr. Sriram Padmanabhan. Thank you so much for coming out, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Sriram Padmanabhan. I am a uh, Tamilian. Uh, any Tamilians in the audience here? One sir, two sirs. See, that's what education gets you. We can't afford expensive beer, right? Like, no, uh, but not many people know who Tamilians are because uh, once this Gujarati sir came up to me and asked me, Shriram, what is a Tamilian? What is a Tamilian? It's like million, billion, trillion. <laughs> then Tamilian, no, that is, is that how it is? I'm like, no, sir. Like, Wikipedia clearly defines Tamilians as this ancient Indian parasitic ethnicity that thrives on the white guy's IT jobs. You, sir, know what I'm talking about, am I right? Like, I mean, uh, my dad's side of the family comes from Kerala. Keralaites love seafood, right, as a race. You take the average Keralaite family out scuba diving on a vacation, they think it's an open buffet. <laughs> what is going on, right? Like the first time my family went to a veg restaurant, my dad, he scanned the menu thoroughly, he pointed to the fish tank, called the waiter and like, get me that. Just fry that fish tank and just bring it around, all right? Like, uh, that's all. And growing up in a care, part Keralite, part Tamilian family, uh, in school, I had so much of hair oil on my head, man. Like, is this, you ever think you have so much oil in your head that the US might declare war against you? Like, that's a genuine concern that I have. No, but uh, I'm originally from Bombay, though. Uh, people from Bombay make some noise. Oh, a lot of people. Nice, nice. Fun fact about Bombay, guys. You know, in 1995, the government wanted to change the name of our city from Bombay to Mumbai. You guys remember that? I still remember the Indian Express actually ran an opinion poll asking people what they want our city to be called. And guys, the answer was unanimous. Uh, Goa. <laughs> I work in advertising because uh, once I saw this newspaper ad for weight loss, all right, which had this fat guy in the before picture, then had this fit guy in the after picture. Then had someone like me for side effects. <laughs> like, what is going on here, right? Like, I work as a copywriter in advertising. For those of you who don't know what copywriters do, it basically involves writing ads for the iPhone throughout the week so that at the end of the month, I can afford a Micromax, <laughs> right? Like, that's the basic job of it. But as a copywriter, you know, the first time your work gets featured on a hoarding, it's a really proud moment, all right? The first time that happened to me, I drove my parents down to the hoarding spot. And they were so proud to read my work which said, to advertise on this hoarding, dial 98200, 98200. It's, it's a really proud moment, you guys, right? Any avid travelers here? I am not a huge traveler, guys, uh, because I have a morbid fear of flying. Uh, until I had to muster up the courage to take my ex out on a trip. And nothing in that flight went right, all right? Like, when we boarded the flight, I looked at the cockpit, and the pilot was using Google Maps. I'm like, what is going on in this flight? 
right? Then he introduces himself, right? Announcing himself and like how, uh, you know, about uh, what he does. And amongst his hobbies, he lists one as skydiving. <laughs> like, what is going on in this flight? Right, there was an Al-Qaeda terrorist sitting right next to me. He was like, bro, I'm telling you, this guy is not fit to fly a plane. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> but I'm an average guy, right? Like, every time I have relationship trouble, I turn to superheroes. That is correct, yes. Uh, no, no, but uh, I've, I've never gotten the dynamic of uh, superheroes. Because uh, dating a superhero must be tough, right? Because role play is already out of question. Like... What is going to happen in that? Like, role plays, nothing for superheroes. They're already there. Like, Batman and Catwoman. I've never gotten the dynamic between the two. Like, back me up here, guys, all right? Like, it's basically a relationship between a bat and a cat. <laughs> right? Now, cats eat rats. Bats are basically rats with wings. So, for Catwoman, Batman is, Batman is airline food. Right? That's it, like, and, and bats carry rabies, you guys. They carry rabies, you know? Every time Batman gives Catwoman a hickey, she has to go and get herself vaccinated. Like, <laughs> what sort of relationship is that? No, no, but uh, all said and done, uh, I'd rather be a single guy in Bombay than someone in Uttar Pradesh. No, because we could all be in Uttar Pradesh. Aren't you glad that we are part of a nice and safe city like Bombay, yes? I read in the news recently that I had a nightclub in Uttar Pradesh the DJ got shot by a customer <laughs> because he didn't play a song that the customer had requested. Shocking, right? Did you guys know there were nightclubs in Uttar Pradesh? <laughs> no idea those things existed there. You know, the DJ was like, put your effing hands up and everyone was like, okay, bro, we'll do that. No blood shot. That's been my time, ladies and gentlemen. You guys have been a lovely audience. That was Shiram, guys. Nice, yes. On weekends, he does stunt double work for Makran Deshpande. Yes. <laughs> yeah, in uh, in theatre, there's not a lot of money there. But you know, I'm at that age where all my friends are getting married. Like, sabka wicket gir raha hai Or apuni baaki hai sirf. No, wicket keeper, eleventh man, night watchman, sab apuni hai. And you have to go to some weddings. And then some aunties will walk up to you and ask you that dreaded question, right? You know what that question is, right? Jane counter kahan pe hai, right? <laughs> Curve settled down honge hai. Sir, auntie, aapke poochne ka hi wait kar raha tha, bas so. Yeah. So it's time to call upon the next act, guys. This guy has been uh, doing stand-up for a very long time. In fact, so long that uh, when he first started doing stand-up, he didn't even know it was called stand-up. Usi baake baat kar raha hai. This was so long back that back then even Saurabh Pant had hair on his head. Like, like, <laughs> this was so long back that uh, people used to take Rahul Gandhi seriously. <laughs> but since then he has diversified into other art forms. He's uh, into writing, he's also into production. Yeah, he's into a little bit of direction. And he's done programming also for many news channels. Uh, but he's also a freestyle rapper. Yeah, guys. Please, please welcome the round of applause. The Kanye West of Kurla East, <laughs> Mr. Andy Regu. Single people, give me a cheer. Woo! Relax, it's not a mating call, relax. <laughs> no, no, no. But uh, yeah, I'm single because my choice. <laughs> Said no guy ever. <laughs> but you know, even, I read a lot of BuzzFeed and all this, so there are many articles there. 10 ways to flirt with a woman, 15 ways to get the girl of your dreams, 69 ways to eat momos. <laughs> So I took an article and I want to test it whether it works or not. Okay, these are five ways to impress any woman. Ma'am, are you ready for the test? Uh, step one, these are five steps, okay? So step one is be smartly dressed. <laughs> that was easy, why? <laughs> smartly dressed. Wow. Yeah, ma'am, checked. Yeah, cool. Uh, step two is uh, make eye contact. Checked. <laughs> Step three, do not stare. Sorry. <laughs> Check. 
checked. Is it working? Can you feel the chemistry? No? Okay. Step four, compliment her in a witty way. Uh, you're as beautiful as Tiger Shroff. <laughs> Step five, be yourself. <laughs> Clearly, this, this is not working. But as any grown-up man, how I deal with breakups and everything is, I listen to songs. I listen to guzzles. Any guzzel fans? Mm, good, good. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Um, I love guzzles because my family is alcoholic. So <laughs> I don't have a choice. But uh, ma'am, you know, aajkal guzzel fans bahut kam ho gaye. In fact, there are more Parsis than guzzel fans. <laughs> <laughs> and this is all because of Pankaj Udas. <laughs> You remember the guy? I mean, he was crying and crying. I mean, he was crying. His song, I don't know if you guys have heard it. It's Chitthi Aai Hai, Aai Hai, Chitthi Aai Hai. So, read it. He's making a song for 10-10 songs. Okay, I'm done. Any Bhai fans in the audience? Hey, one person say yes. Now, how do I continue with my joke? Anyone, anyone, just for the sake of it. भाई होगा तीव्रा मेरा तो वो पहला प्यार है। Like totally, totally not worth the whole build up but.